Today we're taking a look at these Digital Photo slash Luxio P200 little tube lights and specifically we're going to look at what functions and features are built into them, how they work by themselves, how they work with the remote, and how they work with the mobile app as well as take a look at a couple of things like CRI with the Seaconic C800 color meter. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up? I'm Scott and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing for more no-nonsense tutorials and reviews. So excuse the instructions laid out on the table here. For at least the first couple of steps, I want to make sure that I get everything accurate and correct as I'm telling you here. Uh, like we said in the first video, if you look at these lights, there is no control screen uh, built into here. So everything that you're going to control is going to be kind of guesswork to a certain degree. Basically, there's only one, sorry on this end, one single button here. It's the power button, but it also works to control the light. Single click that button and it will turn off. It takes actually a couple seconds to turn off. Click it again, it'll turn on really quickly. The reason it takes a second to turn off is because it's waiting for a second push because uh, everything that you're gonna do cycle through all the different modes on the light itself is gonna be through seg uh, double pushes, double clicks. So double tap that, we go from what is they say cool white mode to uh, warm white mode. So let's take a quick look at exactly what color temperatures those are. Cool white seems to be, of course, daylight uh, right around 5700K. And the warm light seems to be, of course, around tungsten, uh, just over 2800K, uh, in between 28-2900K. So that's what you get for cool and warm light. We'll throw up some tests after to show uh, how much light these can put out in terms of lux uh, at maybe a half a meter, at one meter, and we'll compare that to some of those little pocket LEDs just so you have a kind of uh, point of reference for that. Uh, and also at that time, we'll put up results for things like CRI, SSI, and whatnot. But for now, let's move on. Double click again, you've got red light, Again, you've got green light, again, you've got blue light, and then if you keep going, you've got, they say, red slash green light, so comes out this color, obviously. Again, you've got red slash blue light, combining red and blue, and then once more, you've got green and blue mixed there. Click it again, you've got colorful light changing, uh, so there you go, that's what that is. Double click again, you've got, they say, RGB light, this is kind of a pulse between the RGB colors. Double click again, you've got a red and blue warning light that's, you know, kind of close to police effect. Double click again, and you've got the flashing white light. Tap it again, and you're back to your cool white light. So, double tapping that will cycle through those modes. It's not a full 360 degree uh, control of your RGB color, uh, at least at this point. Um, you get a few presets basically. These are actually really similar in that way to the Spiffy Gear uh, little Q6 RGB lights uh, that they had presets built into them. Again, there's things that obviously this can do that this little bracelet can't and vice versa. Um, but in terms of those presets and, and how to control them and not having a display screen, uh, very similar to these. And I think the price is also pretty similar. These do have both white light and RGB though. With uh, these spiffy lights, you have to choose one or the other. They have two different models, one with white light, one with RGB, so there's that. Anyway, uh, when you're in white light mode, for example, if you long push the button, it will adjust the intensity. So there you go, it goes up to max brightness. Press it again, and it will slowly go down to its minimum brightness. So no percentages, really, at least again at this point. We'll see if the mobile app gives you a whole lot more. And now let's go over to the remote control. This comes with a battery. Uh, it is a removable or replaceable little battery like those watch style batteries, so that's good to see. But there is one included, so you're good to go right out of the box. So you've got a power button, and you can control more than one at, a, at the same time, as you can see. Uh, but this does have to be pointed at the light, so if I point it up, it's not gonna do anything. Point it here. If I have them far apart, it's only gonna really control the one that it's generally pointed at. It is a little bit of a wide beam, now I got them, there we go. So um, you do have to have that line of sight for these lights, but you can control more than one of these with a single remote. Uh, next to that, you've got the plus and minus. So in modes like white light mode, that will obviously adjust the brightness. There we go, up to max. And I will say this is pretty bright for the size at max, uh, max brightness, and then down to the lowest. Under that, you've got flash, and this is when it's gonna change between those different colors. In these modes, when it's changing colors, the plus and the minus is actually going to affect the speed. So if I put plus, you can see it goes through those colors a lot quicker. And as I push minus, it's gonna now 
take quite a while actually to cycle between those different colors, but there we go. Same for RGB, that pulsing mode. If I uh, push on the plus there, we can speed it up. Now you can see that's a bit quicker, but if I slow that down, we can get it to go really nice and slow here. So depending on the effect you want, you can adjust the speed. You've got the police lights there, or the red and blue warning lights, whatever you want to call them. Then you've got the flash mode here, and they're not synced, it seems, but again, you can control more than one at the same time, but at least with this remote, things like flashing are not synced. Things like the bright light, maybe if you start it right, they seem to be synced. Before I had one red, one blue, so maybe it depends on, I don't know, something. But I'm suspecting that with the app, that's going to be, they're a little bit out of sync there. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, and then you've got your yellow button here, which represents the warm light. Again, that tungsten light. White is your daylight, your white light. Uh, and then you've got your colors. So you've got red, green, blue, and then you've got a red-green mix. You've got a red-blue mix and a blue-green mix. I really like this color. Again, as of now, you don't have things like saturation adjustment. You don't have uh, any colors in between these presets. Uh, so I'm curious to see how much more control you're going to get out of the mobile app. So I'm going to download that and we're going to go through it together for my first time, for your first time. Let's check it out. Tuya Smart is the app that you want. And in the instructions, there's a QR code you can scan and it will bring you to this so you can download it. Actually, what we're going to do, turn these off. And then when they're off, we're going to hold the button for three seconds and they'll turn on and kind of pulse like you can see there. Maybe you can see, I don't know. And now when you go to add device, it will give you a little pop up that has two devices to be added our, uh, to Luxio Lights. So let's click to go to add, click the plus there. It says two devices found, zero devices added. Let's just click the little recycle button there. Okay, now we've got two connected. Click done. And there we go. We've got, uh, yeah, one and two. Click done. There we go. Took them a little while to get connected, but it, it does work. So just keep in mind, turn them completely off, then power them on with a long three second push. And when you see them kind of pulse, once you go in to add them in the app, they should show up. You can connect them like that and you should be good to go. In the app already, you can see you've got uh, in white light mode, a more fine control over your color. So you've got values in between that warm light and the cool light. So we said before, uh, the warm light, which you can see here maybe, uh, is close to 28, 28.50K, uh, like a tungsten light. And then if you go up to the cool side, then you've got about 56, 5700K daylight light. There's no values displayed in here, which I would have appreciated. Uh, but if you pop this right in the middle, as close to the middle as we can, and then we take a quick reading here, we're right uh, just under 4,000K. So um, in the middle there is going to be probably right around 4,000K uh, if you're looking for something in between. Hopefully they can update this to give it a little bit more of an accurate reading, but that's what we've got. Of course, you can also adjust the intensity here now in more uh, accurate, uh, in a more accurate way than just with the light itself or with the remote. You can see what percent you're at. You could uh, match multiple lights a lot easier that way. You can turn the light off. You can turn the light back on again. Left time and, and more. Um, here you've got some kind of schedule thing. I'm not sure exactly the details of that. We're not going to go deep into that. We're going to take a look at just in terms of what functions this app can really pull out of these lights. So if we go into the color mode, uh, you can see already you've got much finer control over the color than you did with the light itself or with the remote, which is really, really nice. You've got full 360 degree color uh, and you've also got control over the saturation, which we didn't have before, as well as, of course, the brightness here in percent. Going over to scene mode, you now get, I, I believe it's eight uh, that are in here instead of just the, the couple that are accessible by the light itself or by the remote. You also got a music tab. I don't have any music uh, playing in my phone. It doesn't seem to be reacting to my voice. So I'm not sure if that's some sort of setting that I have to adjust. But from in here, I don't have any really more options uh, than what you can see on screen. So. That's that. Maybe this is going to be developed a little bit more. One last thing to note for now is that while they're connected to the app, it doesn't seem like the remote does anything. So uh, you've got to disconnect that app, turn them off, turn them back on. And it does also say that it should remember what mode 
uh, it was in after you turned it off. So let's turn these both to warm, for example. Turn it off, turn them back on again, and it's warm. Let's turn the light to blue light, turn them off, and then turn them back on again, and it's blue. So at least it does have that memory, which is nice. I'll give you a few examples of just a couple of really quick product shots using these as like a key light and a kicker light, or you know, that two color RGB type effect just to show you um, just how useful these are. But being able to hold these in my hands, I could literally put two of them in my pocket. Um, very, very useful little lights. I can see them coming in handy on a lot of different uh, situations, and especially since they're magnetic, you could uh, put these up in a lot of different places without even needing any special mounts, but you do have those quarter inch screw threads down there. Um, they're built pretty well. Again, IP65 waterproof, uh, water resistant, rating so just there's a lot of things that these can do for $60. I'm very impressed with these and I really really like these. Um, way to go. I think that the collaboration between I guess Luxio and Digital Photo on these really worked out. Um, these are great little products and I recommend you get your hands on some. But for now if you have any other questions or comments please do let me know down below. Otherwise if you like this video or found it helpful please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that good stuff and we'll see you next time.